Hey everybody, how's it going? So I went to Home Depot, picked up a couple items um, from Home Depot, some measurement items. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody, how's it going? Alright, so I picked up a couple items from Home Depot. I kind of did one of those things on the, t the previous two videos you guys will see before this one. I kind of did the same thing. I went to Home Depot, grabbed some items, then went to Lowe's, grabbed similar items, <clears throat> and um, Lowe's had different options. And those previous videos you guys will see before this one um, were a bunch of boring um, bits as well as um, spade bits, ex really long spade bits, um, and some extensions. And this is kind of just a video based off of similar items um, to that scenario where I went to Lowe's or Home Depot, picked up the exact same items, went to Lowe's, picked up the exact same items, just different um, variants. Um, so and the video next um, that will be after this one um, is actually related to the two videos before this one. So, um, when it's a Home Depot, um, looking, I see these all the time at Lowe's, but I went to Home Depot looking to see if they had any. Um, and these are um, rules. There, this is a six and a half foot composite folding rule or ruler. Um, so this one's by Milwaukee. It is item number 48-22-3801. I don't know if Milwaukee makes the different variants. It does say heat stamped markings won't wear, water and scratch resistant laminate, corrosion free embedded joints, locks at zero, 90 and 180 degrees. Um, a line end of ruler with angle mark so you can actually make 45 degree angles with this um, this way and then you know quick reference bend angles 22.5 30 degree 45 and 60 degree um, says limited lifetime and then I grabbed these two different ones um, from Crescent Lufkin um, which Lowe's carries a lot of these it just happened that these I picked up at Home Depot. The, I picked up two from Lowe's as well. Or th I think it's two or three from Lowe's. Uh, I picked up two from Lowe's. They're all different. So this one's an engineer scale. Six foot decimal read. Five times wear resistance. Limited lifetime warranty. And it says red end. So it's got the kind of the reddish ends on it. This one's an engineer scale. This one's an extension rule. Um, depth. This one also has a depth gauge, which is this guy right here. Um, and it also has red ends, five times wear resistance. So the extension rule is part number X-Ray 46 Sam Lima Northern. And the engineer scale is 1066 David Lima Northern. So I picked these up. Um, and let's see. This one you could just slide the cardboard off like that. And they have a little tab so they kind of stay locked into their position that and then you just keep folding it out this one's got inches and then it says joints and this side it's got tenths hundredths of a foot so it's got two different scales um, these are very very nice um, I do have a very old one that my dad gave me a long, long time ago. It's a metal one. And uh, it's pretty bent up. I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty bent. And I just never got around to fixing it. It's got the green 
uh, crusties that you see on copper which needs to be buffed and this is a number one two zero six this and this is a Lufkin this is actually a number one two zero six the Lufkin rule co let me turn this light on maybe it'll be easier for you guys to see it yeah it is it's kind of hard to see it there you go the Lufkin rule co so this is also a Lufkin you don't normally see them in metal like this anymore um, and I don't think this one's a six foot I just wanted to replace it um, it, it is pretty bent needs to be straightened but uh, so it's, it's held up well for me and it held up held up well for my dad figured hey why not pick them up they're not really that expensive you know these go between you know five and 18 bucks this one was $17, this one was $13, and this one was, I believe, $14, $15. Um, $17, $24 for the Milwaukee, $13, $47 for this guy, which is just the extension rule, and $15.97 for this guy. Um, just a quick video. Um, this one's pretty long. It's a little bit longer if you can compare it so it is a little bit longer than Milwaukee is that's probably why it's not as wide as these guys you can see that it's actually almost an inch shorter in width so it doesn't it doesn't take as many to fold out this one is also six and a half these are both six feet so then you get an extra half a foot which is six inches which is nice on the Milwaukee um, you guys will see them in, in separate videos. These you just slide the little thing out and you're good. Um, they are marked also. Uh, 1066D Lufkin Rugged Red Ends Engineer. This one's an engineer scale, so it does tell you that it's an engineer scale. Um, this one, extension rule. This one right here. Says X46 Lufkin Red End Extension. So you know this one is the extension. I'm pretty sure the Milwaukee does the same thing. Milwaukee is just one of those you pop the end off, slide it out more than likely. I had to destroy the box a little bit for the Milwaukee. Slides out. The Milwaukee has more of a plastic synthetic feel where the Lufkins you can tell are a type of wood. Um, the Milwaukee also has plastic what feels like rubberized plastic hinge um, lock points right here um, one to seven so it's one to eight inches so these are eight inch um, eight inch sections six feet is 72 so it looks like it's double sided There is metal bars holding these pieces in though. As you can see, there's a metal bar right there, so it's pretty nice. Um, but I also picked up a couple of these at Lowe's. They're totally different. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching, checking out the video, um, hanging out with me today. Um, you know, they're just, they're just rulers. Um, but they are very, very nice from what I can tell. 
I'll definitely get use out of them. I've gotten plenty of use out of the other one. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. If you guys have questions about them, uh, you know, don't hesitate to ask. I do like that the extension rule has a depth gauge. You can literally slide this gauge out, which is kind of neat. Not sure how easy it is to slide, but it does slide. It's a little stiff. It's probably going to take some getting um, broken in. It does slide out. It is quite stiff though, uh, but I'm sure it'll break in over time. I do appreciate you guys uh, checking out the video. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. Um, if you guys want me to put the part numbers down below in a comment or a pinned comment or something, just let me know and I'll do that. Um, I also do have an Ulsa Tools link below. If you do use it, it gets you 10% off your order at Ulsa Tools. I do earn a commission. Doesn't cost you guys any anything extra if you guys use any of the affiliate links um, from any of the companies I mentioned. I do appreciate your guys' time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!